Before I turn on the fucking camera, I had all these arguments, all these points. I had this passion, this rage, and uh, throughout the course of this rant, uh, you might see it uh, pop up. There are several points I want to break down in this rant. Firstly, I want to say this. You could be the most convincing pro-life or anti-abortion or whatever the fuck you want to call yourself type of person. You could be the most academically gifted anti-abortion activist. You could have the most elegant essays on why abortion is wrong. And I will always go back to, that's fucking great. That never means that your fringe position should be the law of the land. That millions of women, biological women, I know that can be a uh, problematic term um, when it comes to trans issues or a non-binary issue, but I want to preface that here. And yes, I know there is studies, or there is, I guess, theories about how you could make a trans woman be able to give birth to a child, but that's not for this particular video. I just wanted to throw that out there in case I get any fellow leftist people who want to pick at straws in this situation, even though I can't really imagine what the point of that would be, considering what the Supreme Court just did has to be one of the most egregious violations of civil liberties, constitutional rights, and a woman's right to do what they want with their body that I have ever seen. You have to understand this. I grew up learning about women's lib, the struggles of women's lib, what the goals of women's liberation was. This was something that was fought for tooth and nail and was opposed by the very same type of fucking traditionalists that you see today. What's scarier to me is even in that regressive of a time period, the 1970s, when Richard Nixon was fucking president, Roe v. Wade was reviewed by a more objective Supreme Court than it was viewed today. For the simplest reason that you didn't have justices who had such a strong political bias, a goal to reverse 50 fucking years of precedent. I knew during the Trump era that this could happen. It was very likely that this might happen. But I think the minute I started to have this feeling of absolute horror, that this could happen was when Amy, Corey, Kobe, Barrett, whatever the fuck her name is, was not just nominated by fucking Trump, but then went through this joke of a Senate hearing to get confirmed weeks before a fucking presidential election. The same political party that gave Barack Obama shit for trying to appoint Merrick Garland after Scalia died within, what, fucking February of 2016? Their entire argument was, oh, this guy could be a lame duck president. And you can't, whatever the fuck the exact wording was. The point was, Obama was a lame duck president. Therefore, his party might not control the White House, next presidential cycle, so... We shouldn't appoint a Supreme Court justice. That was the argument that the opposing side went with. But it's not only 
the Republicans fault. It's also the Democratic Party's fault. Their cowardly response to it. Their continued fucking unwillingness to do something radical. Like, consider pressuring Biden to pack the courts. Pushing for Roe to be done with 50 votes rather than 60 votes. Bernie Sanders proposed that. And even though he's not technically a Democrat, he seems to be the only Democrat with uh, some practical idea of how to protect women's rights. The only thing drilling into my head right now is the horror that women who want to get an abortion will have to risk their lives to do it. There was a reason that abortion was such a terrifying process prior to Roe v. Wade. There was a fucking reason. Because it was. Because there was no access to do it. There was no safe, legal way to do it for decades. And we could be going back to that. Women who are growing up in the second decade third decade, technically, of the 21st century, now have to go through the same horrors that their great-grandparents or grandparents had to go through when it came to getting an abortion? You cannot argue that you have the political ideology of freedom when you want the state, the government, a fringe minority within the fucking government, to restrict a woman's ability to make such a personal and difficult decision. Sometimes it could be the easiest decision in the world. Like if you were raped or you were abused by your partner. But oftentimes, this is not something people make lightly. And now you're just adding another layer of horror to it. There are women who have gotten abortions who regret it. Okay, that's life. Shit happens. Sometimes shit that is irreversible happens. And you wish you could go back and change it, but you can't. It is what it fucking is at the end of the day. But the fact that we have theocrats basically winning, not celebrating as they usually would, not with the Pepe memes of Ha, suck it, baby killer, or drink baby killer, dem tear, or whatever new dumb meme of the month these fucking pricks are going to concoct. You're instead seeing an outrage of the leak. Not the substance of what was leaked. Not what this means as a legal precedent. Not what this means in terms of a spit in the face for second wave, third wave, fourth wave feminists who fought tooth and nail to get this right, only to have it be ripped away by men, by majority men, who will never have to make such a choice. Oh, well, you had a woman take, be involved in this. Oh, yeah, a fringe fundamentalist. That's the person I want making such a dire legal decision. That's what I want. You're going to be killing women with this choice. That's what you motherfuckers never understand. You're going to be killing people. Not your debatable uh, if a fetus counts as a fucking human life or not. Not that pseudo-philosophical shit. No, we're talking about actual people. People who we know you're not going to fucking help. Okay, you're against abortion. You want to make that federal law. Are you then going to increase benefits to help get people out of poverty? Are you going to fight tooth and nail for universal health care? Universal child care? A child tax credit? Something that will make poor people's lives less horrid because they had to bring a child into a world that could be on the brink of apocalypse, I might add, because you put women through the terrible process of childbirth. I'm not talking about conception. 
Okay, I'm not a woman, obviously. I can't really articulate what that is like. That's just the truth. But I know that childbirth, it ain't pretty, is what I'm getting at. What if a young girl is raped? A nine-year-old girl is raped and has to deliver her rapist's child. You care about that? No. I guarantee you fucking don't. What about a teenager who wasn't thinking? Because teenagers are fucking stupid. Has unprotected sex. Or maybe the partner who says, oh, I had a condom, baby. Had an expired condom. Do you get the various nuanced scenarios as to why safe legal access to abortion is a fucking right? Those are just two horrible scenarios I came up with on the top, on the top of my fucking head. So yes, in this situation, I will look like the quote-unquote triggered socialist because I am angry. I cannot believe that in my lifetime, something this horrid happened. And the opposition party is seemingly letting it. The day this was leaked, we should have had hearings. The day this was leaked, we should have had congressmen and women drafting legislation to make Roe a constitutional right. You should have had Joe Biden coming out there and saying, I don't have time to take questions right now. I got to figure out how to unfuck this fast. Because you know there are a bunch of fucking fascist governors who've been waiting for something like this. And now they won. You fuckers seemingly won right now. That's what's fucked. You won. You can celebrate. But you're not. It's kind of hilarious. When you really break it down. You have every reason to celebrate. You won. Abortion, unless something radical happens within the next few weeks or months, will be illegal on a federal level. You fringe motherfuckers won. And what are you complaining about? What are you talking about? What are you people talking about right now? Oh my God, the Supreme Court decision was leaked. Oh my God. We have to talk about the leak. The fact that something was leaked. Let's do the blame game of who to point at for the leak. Oh my god, this has never happened in the history of the Supreme Court except Roe v. Wade was leaked. And I can list a bunch of other Supreme Court cases after editing this video that I can just scroll through with the credits font thing. You see that? See how fucking easy that was? So, Spare me. Spare me your pearl clutching bullshit. Spare me your fake outrage of your victory. Spare me your bullshit. I don't have the patience for it. And the majority of people don't have the fucking patience for it. I better see protests. I'm already seeing protests. Announcements for protests. All that shit, which is good. I'm okay with doing whatever needs to be done within a legal framework to protect a woman's right to choose. Because if one woman, one girl, has to be in a situation where they are, where they have a, a fucking bag over their head, as some back alley surgeon cuts in them and rips out whatever is in there. And if she dies or lives through it and has the PTSD of it, that's what keeps me up at night. That's what makes me not be able to sleep. Because you want to talk about the quote-unquote 
suffering of the unborn. Something that doesn't even have a conscience. And yet you could give a flying fuck about the living person that has to go through that, that has to make that decision. In short, fuck you. If you're against abortion personally, fine, don't do it. Tell your kids not to do it. Tell members of your family that abortion is wrong and that going to Planned Parenthood is a sin. Getting one is wrong, regardless of the circumstances. You want to do that? Fine. Personally, I disagree. But as I said in the beginning of this video, there's a difference between that and making your fringe bullshit law. And that's where you cross a fucking line. I'm done. I am just too pissed off to continue with this video. I'm just gonna edit it, try to chill. hope that something good might happen within the next few days.